Welcome back everyone, today we'll be discussing the Jordan 1 Brotherhood. Specifically, we will be discussing some release info, how to cop, and of course, some resale predictions at the end of the video. The Jordan 1 Brotherhood releases on February 24th, retail is $170 for men's sizes and $130 for grade school. Stock between all sizes combined worldwide is just over 120,000 pairs, which is just hardly below average for Jordan 1 high. Regarding resale, we will cover that towards the end of the video, as always. Before we jump into how to cop these though. First, congratulations to everyone who was able to cop the Jordan 6 UNC from my tweet. I saw tons of you were, so that was fantastic. This shock drop alone had 70,000 stock on Nike US alone, which is really insane. If you didn't cop though, it's alright. There are more opportunities to come. In fact, there's even a sneakers reserve coming this week as sneakers already posted for. Make sure to follow my Twitter, keithadam 10 n personals for you. This way you guys never miss out on these kinds of things. And of course, as usual, just like all the other shock drops, this week, such as the LeBron Scratcher, the Jordan 1 Patent Livestream, etc., all Endurance members were prepared with all the early information. In fact, I actually do have some great news for you guys who are watching this video early enough at least. We will be doing a mini surprise restock to celebrate all these shock drops tonight, February 21st at 8pm Eastern Time, and the rest of the spots will be reserved for our main March restock. But I figured I'd give you guys this opportunity now since a lot of you guys have been asking recently because of all these shock drops, so follow the Endurance Twitter if you are interested and set your alarm. I'll see you guys there. Anyway, let's get back to these Jordan 1 Brotherhoods because that's why you're here. Specifically. For this how to cop, we'll be going in chronological order along with exactly how to efficiently manage your time and set up for this drop since a lot is going to be going on at once. Prior to discussing the first come first serve online drops though, remember I will always post the full site list on my Twitter, KeithAdam10, in addition to any urgent updates. Also, please make sure that you don't forget to sign up for the Flex app reservations. This is one of the best ways to get pairs as well as asking your local foot stores about their procedure for leftover pairs. As of right now, it's not currently open but they should be opening up relatively soon and as of recently the ship to me option has actually been disabled and that might be the case when it comes to these as well but don't worry it's not going away forever I could guarantee that they're in fact just currently making updates for it to increase their security but let's be honest bots are simply going to adapt and making all their effort in vain but anyway now moving on to online first come first serve online sites we'll start with the US sites in chronological order then we'll jump to the Europe sites afterwards at 8 a.m. Eastern Time we may be seeing undefeated drop because that's their typical time however as of recently they have been announcing a couple of drops for 11 a.m. Eastern Time so make sure you do follow their Instagram and if they do post for 11 a.m. you know that'll be the time for them before this time whatever it is, 8 or 11, make sure you are signed into your undefeated account in your browser as it is required for this website to check out. Be ready to solve a checkpoint capture as well. If you don't have access to a Shopify monitor, you could try refreshing the search page for AJ1 High, but your chance of copying will of course be slim. Now moving on to the confirmed 10 a.m. Eastern Time drops, this is where the actual fun begins as usual. Since there's a lot to focus on, I'll guide you and suggest you have to efficiently manage your time. First, I would suggest going for Hibbit as your first come first serve choice at exactly exactly 10 a.m. Eastern Time since Hibbit will be one of those that does sell out quickly yet it is still a really solid manual chance. You might get the press and hold capture loop so just some tips to prevent this loop just like we discussed in my prior how to cop guide. Go to the coming soon page on the Hibbit calendar and right before 10 a.m. Eastern Time click on the Jordan 1 then scroll down slowly until you see the sizes. If you scroll too quickly you'll likely end up getting caught in that capture loop that's what happens too often. My biggest advice in general here though is to use Apple Pay on your mobile device for the most efficient checkout after you just select the size. Or as an alternative to Hibbit at 10 a.m., you could also choose another first come first serve option would, would be a Shopify site. If I had to pick a Shopify site for you, I would likely choose DTLR and Jimmy Jazz since Shop Nice Kicks and Shoe Palace shipping rates are very high. But keep in mind, Jimmy Jazz only has a grade school pair loaded as of right now. Kith might be another option for you as of well, but I haven't really seen much manual success there either recently. Regardless, both of these are going to be much harder than Hibbit in my honest opinion, based off my experiences. In conclusion, your 10 a.m. Eastern Time site really should be Hibbit, but these are your alternatives if you so desire. Now, right after those first come first serve drops are over, or even while you're still waiting in the Shopify queue, I want you guys to enter in as many sneakers accounts into the drop as possible. This is going to be your number one chance by far for copying these, but now what's the most efficient way to cop off of Nike sneakers manually? Well, these are currently loaded as a 
Leo drop at the moment, like many recent Jordan GR drops that we've seen in the past month. Leo drops essentially are just draws disguised as first come first serve drops, but you actually have about two to three minutes to get in as many counts as possible into there. On the other hand though, what we used to see pretty often was Dan drops, also known as draws. In that case, you usually have 10 minutes to enter in as many of your counts into the raffle as possible. Evidently, the more you can enter within that period, the better your chances will be. Although again, at the moment, these are currently loaded as a Leo drop, so you'll only have about two to three minutes to get in all your entries. Either way, I actually made a full in-depth video regarding this. If you want to check it out, feel free. If you need to make more accounts, remember that Nike does require SMS verification, and you can't use the same phone number twice, so you will have to ask a friend of yours to use their phone number and then get the verification code from then. However, if you rather not bother your friends or you just want a significant amount of pre-verified Nike sneakers accounts, you can feel free to check out my website, TARS. The link for that is in the description below for pre-verified Nike sneakers and Adidas accounts. So now after sneakers, you'd normally want to shift your focus to periodically checking finish line and JD Sports and Snipes to see if you have pass Q. Regarding Snipes specifically, if you do pass Q manually here, it is definitely possible, but passing Q is the most difficult part. In fact, in Gargantua AIO and also Endurance, we do get bypass links, so it's often a manual cookout here, but it's still possible to pass naturally. Just make sure you do get in quick, of course. Make sure you do follow the Endurance and Gargantua AIO Twitters if you are interested in restocks for those, of course. As of now, Snipes does not have these added on the calendar, but I do expect them to load closer to the drop as they usually tend to do. You could also try carding on foot sites in between checking finish line JD and Snipes, but this is almost definitely a fruitless endeavor since it's been really impossible to cop off of foot sites as of the last past year or two. Make sure to set up all these tabs for these sites beforehand as soon as my account or a person's for you tweets out all the links for you guys. Just keep in mind, copy manually off foot sites is near impossible, but Snipes, Finish Line, and JD are definitely very possible, so give them a shot. That will conclude it for the US sites, so now moving on to Europe. Although many Europe retailers are doing raffles, there will still be some first come first serve drop to prepare for, so let's go over some of the potential ones. The best drop to go for Europe, of course, is going to be Nike sneakers at 9 a.m. CET. These are currently not loaded on the calendar just yet, but I do expect them to load relatively soon within the next day or so, and it'll most likely end up loading as a draw, unlike US, which has been loading as a Leo lately. We'll see what they end up doing, but as of now, I'm expecting expecting them to load it as a draw, which means you'll have about 15 minutes in Europe to get in all of your entries. It is also extremely likely that Soulbox and Snipes will both be dropping at 9 a.m. CET as usual. If you guys do have access to a Soulbox and Snipes monitor, you will have a decent chance of copying off of here, especially if you do have a script as well. I would definitely make sure that you have a signed in account for both of these websites. And similar to Hibbit that we discussed for the US drops, you will likely get caught in some perimeter X capture loop, so you'll have to bear with it and just push through. Zalando and Courier should also be dropping but they have also not loaded yet and then offspring may potentially be dropping these two especially as recently offspring has been doing a lot more first come first sir drops for offspring all i could really suggest to you is to enable notifications for their instagram stories as they usually do post there when it does go live and they're pretty quick at sending it out too so you might have a shot here they normally don't drop at precisely 9 a.m cet so you don't need to focus on here either at 9 a.m but whenever they do drop you'll get a notification and you can try to cop there Footlock Locker should also be dropping, but they have also not loaded on their calendar, so it could be delayed. I'm not sure because they usually do load by now, but either way, Foot Locker is going to be pretty much near impossible to cop off of manually. That will be it for the how to cop portion of the guide. Now with the how to cop out of the way, let's move on to the resale predictions. First of all, stock on these is just hardly below average for a Jordan 1 high drop. Nothing unordinary here. Now in terms of demand, it is quite disappointing compared to what I was initially expecting when I made my monthly sneaker releases video. The current sale volume is very notable, I'll give it that, especially since there's not too many pairs in circulation compared to some other drops where we've seen shock drop stock or a lot of exclusive access stock already in circulation, so it's definitely not bad and there's a solid number of bids as well, but this is all occurring at a rather low pre-sale amount, which I didn't expect for these to be honest. Unfortunately though, the bids and sale volume at their respective rates typically don't 
don't lie. So I must say I'm no longer expecting these to be very profitable with a great margin. However, I'm still expecting these to remain somewhat profitable with a decent margin, especially in the larger sizes. Just nothing too crazy, unfortunately. It still appears to be an easy money opportunity nonetheless. So I'm going full throttle on this drop still. But of course, it's just not going to be any incredible margin like you would have seen on the patent breads, for example. And the same goes for the grade school pairs, even for those large sizes are our ideal. So sizes 10 and up are best for men's sizes, then five and a half and up for grade school. Overall, this is definitely still a good drop in my opinion to look forward to, but it's not as great as I initially expected, unfortunately. Regardless, I definitely need that personal pair for these. I'm a big fan of them. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. I will have a seller hold video out for you guys the day before the drop with more precise resale estimates. So make sure you do subscribe and enable post notifications for that. Anyway, that'll conclude it for today. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or perhaps if you learned a thing or two. Remember, we will be doing a mini surprise endurance restock at 8 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern Time via the Endurance Twitter. Also, feel free to check out the links in the description below for reliable, fast residential proxies or pre-verified Nike sneakers and Adidas accounts. You can also feel free to follow Gargantua AIO if you want to keep up the progress or restocks for that. And last but not least, make sure you follow Keith Adam 10 and Personals for you. This way you guys stay updated and all urgent info like I was discussing today with the shock drops. With that though, I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day and of course, good luck on this release.